In this lesson, we are going to learn how to add the p-delta effect in e-tabs. First, I am going to check if we need to take the p-delta in our calculation or not. So, I am going to use an excel sheet for that purpose. First, we need to enter the story heights. So, go to e-tabs. Then, go to tables. Model. Structure layout. Then, click story data. Next, select these two columns, then right click and choose copy. Now go to the P delta sheet, then right click and choose paste special. Now select text, then click OK. Now in this column, I need to enter the submission of the dead load and the live load in each story. So go to the analyze, result. Structure result. Then click on the story forces. Here in the load combo, select the combination P, which we have defined before, which contains the total dead load and the live load. In the location column, right click and choose bottom. Now select this column, then right click and choose copy. Then paste it into the Excel sheet. Now for the VX, right click on the load combo and choose EX1. Then select the VX column, right click and choose copy. Then paste it into the Excel sheet. Now for the UX, go to the displacement. Then click on the diaphragm center of mass displacement. Right click on the load case and choose EX1. Now copy the UX columns, then paste it to the Excel. Here is the important factor, which is 1, and here is the CD factor. I am going to take it 4. Now, as you can see, the Excel has calculated the theta x value and also the theta max value. So, in our case, theta x is less than 0.1. So, we don't need to add the p delta effect in our model. Also, you need to repeat the same steps for ex2, ey1, and ey2. Now, as you can see, Theta x in all direction is less than 0.1. So we don't need to add the p delta effect in our model. However, I am going to add the p delta effect in our model to show you how to do that in e-tabs. First, we need to unlock our model. Then go to the define menu. Then click p delta options. For type, I am going to choose alternative based on loads. And for the load pattern, I am going to add all vertical loads pattern in our model. So I am going to choose the dead load with factor 1.2 and the SD load with factor 1.2. Also, the live load with factor 0.5. Now we have defined the B-delta effect, so press F5 from your keyword to run the analyze procedure. Now it is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about the eccentricity. So hang on for that.